All this is Dr. Mobeen Sayyid from drbeen.com. Welcome to one more show. So today's discussion is very interesting. It is a study which is yet under peer review. The, the document has not been published. So we can only see what the Hong Kong University has published on their site. We cannot actually see the data yet. So keep that in your mind before you look at the study. The study says that the Omicron variant replicates 70 times faster in the bronchi or the, the bigger airways. This is trachea, but down here are bronchi. In the bronchi, but many news actually do not say this, that it replicates 10 times lesser in the lung tissue. So this is it. That is the important thing. And so let's look at it together and see how much concerning this would be or not. So this is drbean.com. This is the definition of uh, TCID50. You would see that in the, um, in the uh, paper that I would share, paper or the news article that I would share. The median tissue culture infectious dose is defined as the dilution of a virus required to infect 50% of a given cell culture. So because this is an ex vivo study, they, we would have to understand what is this, uh, you know, tissue culture infection infectivity. Ex vivo studies are the studies in which the tissue cells are taken from human beings or from a living thing and then you treat them, do something with them and usually return them in, into the uh, animal. In this case, of course, they are not going to return them in the animal or humans. They would just be testing on them. So you can say this is kind of an in vitro study in which the cell cultures are taken from humans when their bi biopsies are done or other procedures are done and the tissue is taken from them. That is a tissue on which they did the test. I, I like this idea. And here is the, the news article itself. 15 December, HKU Med finds Omicron SARS-CoV-2 can infect faster and better than Delta and human bronchus, but with less severe infection in lung and that is what I want to, let's go over the, the, uh, the little illustrations and then we'll come back and see this one as well. So these are the gifts of humanity and we are right now in the humanities coffee shop. I would change this illustration to make it more clear at some point. The authors of this study are Dr. Michael Chan Chi Y and Professor John Nicholas. What they did was this. They were trying to figure out why is Omicron more transmissible and less severe. And so what they did was they took the human bronchial, bronchial and lung tissue and they cultured that with the infections or the variants of Delta, then the original ancestral variant and Omicron. And they found that in the bronchi, the bronchi, the bigger pipes of the airway. In the bronchi, the, within 24 hours, Omicron was replicating with 70 times more speed. However, this is a very, very important point to see. Everybody is saying that he milder, even I wrote in my title, milder uh, cases or the mi milder severity. However, this is more important to understand that inside the lung tissue the infectivity was 10 times lesser not 10 times more so in the bronchus 70 times more and in the lung tissue 10 times more no not that bronchus 70 times more but the lung tissue 10 times lesser that is a beautiful thing do you know what that reminds me of that reminds me of the pattern of the SARS-CoV-2 infection in children, where most of this is upper respiratory system and not lower respiratory. And this is why ch children mostly are asymptomatic and they get away with the disease and recover better as well. This is also why they can be super spreaders. And here now these adults can be super spreaders as well, who have a greater load in their bronchi. And they're not much symptomatic. They're not much ill. So Imagine the airways are filled with the virus. And as you're talking, laughing, sneezing, coughing, I think there is less coughing with this, you are shedding a greater load. But again, whenever we get scared of this, and data would evolve, we would see more. 
just keep in mind that at this time so far we keep seeing less infections less severity of the infections we'll see how uk's data comes about uk's demography is is different from south africa so that is what we'll see but anyways this is the summary we are done if you just wanted to hear what is happening how serious it is yes it is serious that there is 70 times faster replication in the bigger pipes but the great news is 10 times lesser replication in the lung tissue that means it is becoming an upper respiratory tract infection disease that would be a good news okay so continuing i think i have repeated this now <laughs> conclusions of the authors this is actually very interesting for me to see how their conclusions had statements i think which were politically correct statements so what they said was and i'll show you here and i think this has become a problem for all of us uh, that we have to say things that would be that would be recognized as yeah this is the right thing to say so if you see here they say in the severity it is important to note that the severity of a disease in humans is not determined only by virus replication so we'll talk about this but look at the last part here they say so in this study they are saying that replication is faster in the bronchi and slower much slower in the lung tissue much faster in the bronchi but then they say therefore taken together with our recent studies other studies showing that omicron variant can partially escape immunity from vaccine and past infection the overall threat from omicron variant is likely to be very significant so even when they have a study that only talks about the replication speeds they still have to kind of provide a you can consider this a disclaimer to say hey it can be dangerous and that is totally fine that they are saying this so their conclusion this is their conclusion i may have uh, some paraphrasing here severity has more parameters than virus replication so they're saying it's not just the replication that is important for the severity and of course human um, response host response cytokine storm is our immune system's response not viruses then the binding with the uh, antibodies binding with the receptor and so on there are many more factors i would consider vitamin d vitamin c many other thing nutritional status diabetes sugar all of that uh, uh, leukemias bone marrow condition health conditions hiv immunosuppression there are so many things that would come together then more infection cases this is authors regardless of the severity can be dangerous even because they cause death as well so what they're saying is even if it is milder but it is going to a larger number of people and it has a possibility of killing as well then of course the number of people who would die compared to delta will be lesser but there would still be people who are dying so be careful i'm fine with that too we also demonstrate that omicron partially escapes immunity vaccine and past infection so over overall threat is very significant so they wanted to i think want to make sure that their study is not taken as that people say hey this proves that um omicron is not significant okay so now this is it this is the second phase of the discussion done if you just wanted to know more and the conclusion you can stop here as well now the studies details so here is what they did this is an ex vivo study and i love it i would love more ex vivo compared to in vitro this is an in vitro study as well but the tissue is taken from humans so here what they do is they take tissue from a human being which may be biopsy a surgical procedure or bronchoalveolar lavage many ways to get the tissue for either management treatment of a patient's disease or for diagnostic purposes so that is the tissue that they used i like it it is i think better than many other uh, in vitro tissue types then what they did was they cultured these cells so these blue cells here are the cells that are coming from the uh, lung tissue and the bronchial epithelium or the bronchial tissue and they infected them with three variants omicron delta and ancestral variant so here let's say this is omicron and they gave them 24 hours this is delta 
And then here is the ancestor. And what they found was the same thing that I just discussed, that 70 times more speed of replication in bronchi and 10 times less speed in the lung tissue. Now, let me show you the picture as well, which is very interesting. And we'll do a quick discussion of why faster. So here is their graph. So if you see this graph here on the left, bronchus, and the way to look at this one is that the, the green one, I believe, is the ancestor, original or ancestor. The orange one is delta, and the blue one is omicron. So if you see here, 24 hours after, 24 hours after, the delta is significant, sorry, Omicron is significantly higher in load compared to the other two. And even in 48 hours, it stays higher, but others, other two catch up as well. So really the difference is in the first one day, not continuously. And of course, that doesn't really fit into the overall thing. So that was not mentioned. Plus, I mean, how many things can you mention in a title? So this is in the bronchus. Now on the left side, oh, sorry. So the, <laughs> the graph I just discussed is the left side. The right side graph, that is this graph, is in the lung tissue. So once again, if you see 24 hours after the infection of the lung tissue, this is ex vivo. The tissue was, if you see green, is ancestral virus. And that had the largest share. This was a surprise for me. Ancestral virus still more infectious than Delta in, for the lower respiratory tract. That means even Delta had reduced in intensity for lower respiratory tract. And the next one is even more or less. So green is ancestral. That is bigger. Then orange is Delta, and the blue one is Omicron. And Omicron is 10 times less. So look, in the bronchus, it is 70 times more. Then it has to go all the way down to zero and become equal, and then go another 10 times lesser. So that's, that's significant. I believe this is more important than the other side. Lower respiratory tract infection and the immune system responses in the lower tract are a huge problem. Otherwise, we have human coronaviruses living in our lungs all the time and they cause common cold as well. They don't kill us because they stay in the upper part. So this guy is now learning to stay in the upper parts. Then here, if you see after 48 hours, ancestral, the Wuhan variant is still higher, still winning the race to cause more infection in the lung. And then is the Delta and then is the Omicron. So that is a very, very interesting thing. That means infecting the lower respiratory tract and being able to better infect the lower respiratory tract is not a winning formula for the coronavirus. It is a deadly formula for us, but not a winning formula for the coronavirus. Otherwise, the ancestral virus would be winning over Delta because it does better in the lower respiratory tract. But the viruses that are doing better in the upper respiratory tract they are actually winning. So the ones that are becoming more human friendly are winning. The more human friendly are the one that lives in the upper respiratory tract. Although human coronaviruses, they live in the upper respiratory tract because they cannot go in the warmer climate down in the lungs. And the SARS-CoV-2 coming from the animals knew how to live in the, in the uh, higher temperatures. So now it looks like it is migrating back upwards, which is great. And again, that looks like a child's uh, symptom set. So with this, I think we are done with this discussion. I have <laughs> discussed it like three times now. So uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you would like to support this work, there are three links in the description. You can buy me a coffee, or you can become a patron, or you can use PayPal. I'm going to come back in five minutes, and we'll talk about one more study or news. Then we'll do our chit-chat as well. So we'll do three, three discussions today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.